Hello, welcome to our session of yoga. This morning is morning time. I am just going to show you a simple, a series of simple poses for your neck and your shoulders and perhaps your shoulder joints, okay? So to begin, if you know being on a yoga mat is not accessible for you, during the day, if you're doing this during the day, in the middle of the day, or anywhere that way you work. So sitting on a chair is okay. Um, so that's why I'm sitting on a chair to demonstrate to you what you could be doing if you, you know, getting on a yoga mat is not accessible for you. So these simple poses is really simple that you can just sit here and just to be mindful um, of your body. For a moment, perhaps close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the air. You may even want to do a cleansing, cleansing breath. And just open your mouth and side it out. You can remain, have your eyes closed or leave your eyes open. And what I call this is just a neck roll. What you have to do, just look up, maybe just a little bit, keep your chins level, and just start looking on one side of the room, far corner, as far back as you can. Your eyes travel down, and your neck just rotate with their glance, if you have your eyes open. And try to make as much of 360 degrees circle in the front as much as you can. And we're just going to do that for about four times. So I am doing it on my right. So if you are starting on the left side facing me, that's fine. And just do it as slowly as you can. As you come down, you might hear a few cracks on the back of your neck. If that's the case, that's perfectly okay. It just means that there's air trapped, you know, in your neck, that you haven't made those movements in a long time. Okay, this is my third circle. And then I just got to do one more. And pause for a moment and notice the way you feel. And then you can switch the direction of your circle by going the opposite direction. Remember to breathe. So I normally inhale the first half of the circle. Then I exhale the second half of the circle to make sure that, that I'm inhaling and exhaling as I move. You can do it as fast as you want or as slow as you want. Whenever that you can feel the sensation on your neck. This is my last circle. And then I pause on top of the circle and come get my chin level. Okay, you don't want to be like this, okay, because you are straining the neck. So make sure your chins come back down right here. And now turn to one side, keep your shoulders square, and maybe hold a breath. Once you reach to the other side as far back as you can, see if you can look to the back without moving too much and slowly come back. So we have to be very gentle with, and go to the other side, with our neck. Our neck is the a very mobile part of the joints, of all the joints that we have. So we want to make sure that we move slowly, especially if it's the first time in the morning. And then slowly come back. If you want to do it one more time, feel free to do it. If not, you think that's enough, just tilt your head on one side. 
and use the hand on the same side to encourage it go a little bit further to go deeper and close your eyes if you feel like to feel the sensation more and slowly use the same hand to bring your head back okay and notice the way you feel on here see if it's a little bit more open and then you tilt your head on the opposite side and bring the same hand on this side to encourage it gently a little bit deeper and continue to breathe inhale and exhale and slowly let the hand bring your head back to the center okay so now you're gonna look up to the ceiling as far back as you can when you can't go any further just pause there and inhale and exhale maybe do one more breath inhale exhale let the front of your neck stretch and slowly bring your head back down and bring your chin to your chest as much as you can bring it down and stay there if you can go any further and inhale exhale just right here and inhale and exhale and notice how the back of your neck feel and slowly bring it back to level okay so this is just a very simple neck exercise and if you want to proceed with the arm the arm you can either bring your arms level okay this way some people want to do it this way that's fine too basically we're rotating our shoulder joint you can do it this way bring it to the back as much as you can and come down your elbow break use that as a point to go to the back and make a 360 degrees turn okay so if you have your arms extended it's this way it's a very small circle but you do have your arms extended i would say do it 10 times it's a little bit more comfortable when you have your arms extended and you can feel your shoulder blade coming together in the back and it's just like a really really small round and not this way okay make sure you're not just moving your hand and your shoulder joint here okay so do it 10 times now you notice that how I have my hands facing down toward the full floor okay so now do the opposite direction rotate your arms and breathe and enjoy the stretch on your arms at least 10 and pause for a moment and notice the way you feel your arms may feel a little bit tiring if you're not used to extending your arm and now flip your palms up facing the ceiling and do the same circular movement toward the back right now whatever direction you decide to do just it doesn't matter start with whatever you feel like to right this is about 10 and pause and switch the direction of the circle of your arms the opposite direction and you see how slow I do because I'm noticing my sensation and pause and slowly release your arms by your side Ooh, you may want to shrug your shoulders kind of release the tension on the shoulders right now and opposite direction take one arm bring it across your body and take the other arm and just hold it okay and we're working on the deltoid in here and bring it level with you as much as you can and breathe slowly release the arm and bring it back and notice how you feel and now the other arm bring this arm across and bring your arms up here to hold it and notice how you deltoid feeling when you fold it and just hold slowly release 
shrug your shoulder again. And now, this time, see if you can bring your arms up and hug yourself as much as you can. And bring your arms level. If you notice that how two of my elbows stack on top of each other, if you can't hold yourself this tight, that would be great. If not, over here, that's fine too, as much as you can. And if you can stack your two, two elbows together and bring it up and just hold your arms. We call this the eagle arm, a eagle wrap, okay, without the legs. So when you are in here stacking two elbows together, see if you can bring it up a little bit and arch your back a little bit, tilt to the back, and just hold here for one breath. And slowly bring it down. And notice how your muscles stretching on the back, maybe opening up your trapezius. Muscle on the back or the neck. And slowly bring it up. Now before you let go of your arms, remember which arm you have on the bottom, okay? So slowly release. Whatever arm you had on the bottom before, now you put the other arm on the bottom, opposite arm, and do the same movement. See how I'm hugging myself? And have two elbows stack on top of each other now. And I open up my arm, see if you can hold it. If not, you can hold it this way as well. But I usually like to just hold it because I want to make sure that it's is on top of each other, okay? So slowly bring it to the top, arch your back a little bit, just a little bit, as far back as you can. Remember to breathe and slowly bring it down. Come down as much as you can and you feel a stretch on your thoracic spine and a stretch on your trapezius muscles on the back and slowly bring it back and release the arm. Now notice, I hope that you feel a little bit stretching on your trapezius muscles on the back and always feel free to shake your arm, you know, shake it off. And now this is really easy. Basically raise your one arms up and slowly reach over, grab something. Like here, we're trying to stretch our lateral side, okay? Come up and the other side. So this is, you're doing it when you are on your chair. If you can really do it, a, you know, more dedicated space, attention, you can actually raise your arms up and just switch over to your side. Your arm is by your ear and just tilt it on one side. Mm. Your, hand, your hand can be here. You want more stretch and just do it the same way as if you're holding a beach ball. And so they come back to the center, drop the other arm, and tilt it the opposite side. Your arm by your ear. Come up, you could do it one more time. Your butt is falling, that's why I'm trying to control it. You don't have to do what I do. Side. Don't lean on the chair. Not this. I have a tendency to do that, and I think we all do when we see there is a, a rest on the back and slowly come back down. Okay, so this is the simple. You can stop right here if you don't have enough time, and if you do have enough time, you want to do more. So put your hands on here. So slowly move your arm. Well, first of all, move your 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 torso to the, fr to the front and move it to the back. And arch your back like a C curve, if you look at me to the side. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now we're actually, do, this is called a spinal movement. You're working on your spine, especially your upper spine. Your thoracic spine. And perhaps move out a little bit with your chair so you don't you won't be leaning so much 
on the back of your chairs. So hopefully your legs are also level. And when you're doing this this time, when you come back and move over to another side to see if you can make an arc and then come over to the front, maybe a circle now, half circle and now move into the back circle. So we're basically doing a 360 degree circle with our torso. I call that stirring the pot as if you were making soup, using your body as the stir, just stirring it. This is your spinal movement, front and back and side, left and right. So we're gonna do one more round and come, when you come to the center, pause. Notice the way you feel. Whatever direction you, you did before, now we're doing the opposite direction. Okay. So we're just going to do four. the center and take a notice how you feel so this concludes our simple neck and shoulders and spinal movement for the morning thank you for joining us